to buy Canelo versus Golovkin at 16.95. Press box office on your Sky Remote or visit boxnation.com. IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at Liverpool Town Hall today for the final press conference with Callum Smith versus Eric Scoglund. With me, I've got the man himself, Mr. Callis How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, How are you? Yeah, nice to, nice to see you Good. finally. Yeah. You've been here ages. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had a bit of plane problem this plane morning. Plane problems in Hamburg. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Um, but here now, press conference done. Um, yeah. Way in and then fight night. Excited? Very excited, very excited. Very excited to bring this beautiful tournament and trophy to to Liverpool. Got a little diamond belt picked up on the way as well. Nice, Lovely isn't it? This. Nice and polished. Actually, you got picked up from Kilburn yeah. last night. Well, I just thought I took it off uh, Mayweather, you know, he won it a few weeks back and uh, borrowed it for the weekend. Fair enough. Nice so, fella. Uh, He's generous. Yeah, it's alright, you know, I mean, he gives out diamonds and things like that, so it's all good. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Um, obviously, it kicked off last week um, with Usyk versus Huck. Yeah. Um, good fight. He's a beast, isn't he? Oh, sensational. I mean, uh, First couple of rounds, he was he was feeding his way into the fight, and I was thinking, ah, he's all right, but I can't see what all the hype's about. And then end of the third, he like let let his hands go, and I was like, he's a monster. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, impressive, impressive. A great start, it was a great fight. It was exactly that's yeah. how you want to keep up the tournament. I mean, also, yeah. I mean, what happened? What was the um, a bit of backlash about that the undercard fight where the geezer just knocked him out in one punch? Yeah, do you know what? It, it, it was like like a local ticket seller who's not not with us, but it, it looked the pair of them looked in tre tremendous shape at the weigh-in, um, and, and, and he just walks up and chinned him. You know, it was like I've never seen him like it. Did you, was, was you watching? Was you like, yeah, so I was sit, I wasn't sitting at the front. I was at the back of the venue, and I was like, huh? it's like. Like, like, I don't know, someone went into a bar and just smashed someone and then put him straight but down. I'm sure the geezer got, still got paid, so I'm not sure he was Yeah, there yeah, we go, we paid both. Don't so. get paid overtime. Yeah, no, no, um. definitely get any overtime for that. But no, to be fair, he, he hit him flush, you know, the yeah. other guy. He looked, he looked the part, he looked the part, you know. Can't have muscles on your chin It's a bit though. silly now yeah, if he's he had that million clicks on YouTube. <laughs> yes, you know? he's gone viral. Yeah. Um, but no, let's, uh, this fight, I mean, Scoglin's sort of an unknown quantity over these what was his first time as a professional fighting in the UK. In Callum's hometown, uh, yeah. Liverpool. Um, I mean, I could I could turn that round. I could say that Callum Smith's an unknown quantity in uh, Scandinavia. True. You know, uh, similar, similar. They're both. You know, they've both been built up by, let's say, larger promoters, and obviously Callum's been built up by by uh, Matchroom in the UK and uh, Eric Scoglin by Team Sauland in uh, in Scandinavia. You know, hyped up to be the the next sort of uh, the next Michael Kessler. Um, and you know, Callum Smith's obviously been hyped up to be the next big thing over it. So, sadly, it's going to be a question of you know, who's the hype job, who's not for me. I mean, yeah. for me, neither of them are hype jobs. But a lot of people will look at the loser and say, well, we, you know, we talked him up, but he, he weren't nothing. So, so I think I think there's a lot of line like that for them. But I think ultimately, you got to look at the one is number one in the world. And the other one is number two in the world, I think, the, I, uh, the IBF. So uh, Eric's dropping down in weight. Callum's obviously the tallest guy in the tournament. So you've got a very, very interesting fight. It's inter I, I still find it fascinating that Callum picked him because Callum's got that natural reach advantage. He's picked the guy where he doesn't have that advantage. I mean, it looks more. Read into when, that how you like it. When you look at him standing there, it looks like more of a light heavy fight, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, they're, they're both yeah, so yeah. big at the weight. I mean, I, mean, I, I do think that they picked him because they thought he'd be dead at the weight. And if I look at him today, he don't look dead at the weight at all. In fact, he looks, he he looks it. pretty good. Uh, well, he's missus, he's dietitian, so. Yeah, really? No oh, okay. yeah. I didn't know that. His dad's his trainer, his missus is dietitian. Like my missus to be a dietitian, but. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, no, I mean, Callum Smith, obviously, I'm not sure he looked too much into him coming down in weight. I mean, he's, he's yeah. bad, he didn't bad mouth him when I interviewed him. He's, he, all he's done was say that it's a, it's a fair fight and he didn't pick him for any particular reason, like he was the weak link. I mean, yeah. who would you say was the weak link in that tournament uh, of this side? Well, uh, I chose him, so I don't think there's any weak links. I think I think you're, all of them got fascinating storylines, you know? Uh, Rob Brandt, uh, who people will probably say is the outside, he was the last tight guy to join, uh, but he's a former Golden Gloves champion, you know? So, you know, he's a voted prospect of the year uh, in, in the States. So, you know, there's not really weak links. What you have, though, is you've got some 
undefeated challengers. So we'll see. You know, are they undefeated for a reason or not? You know, I mean, Jamie Cox. People who got question marks over him. He's got a big night against George Rose. He's got to step up to the plate. He's dealing with the best guy in the division at the moment. So you know, there's a lot of side storylines on each fight. And I think the fight this weekend, it's it's, it's the two young lions who are going at it for some of that big. I don't know if there's a party going on back there. <laughs> obviously, I mean, Southland obviously mostly based over Germany and the Nordics and Scandinavia. Yeah. Um, but this tournament sort of put you on a platform where you're going to be in the public eye in the UK with obviously four British fighters. Yeah. No, we've got in some, your we've side, got, I've got in some your British side. fighters. Oh, George Coles, you know, George Coles. Well, you know, like, yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah. you rarely do shows. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Right, right, I'm right in saying that? Yeah, no, it's, uh, well, no, we don't, we don't quite like in the UK. Uh, more, not, we, we, yeah, yeah, we, we are <laughs> continental based promoters. <laughs> You know, but you know, you guys have the the Brexit going on here, so <laughs> the you Brexit. don't want to see the back of me then. <laughs> It's you guys, you're more cockney than me. <laughs> it's like you can't start playing that I'm card. I'm a convenient cockney. You're, yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, Saturday, looking forward to it, expecting uh, big numbers? Um, I'm expecting big numbers on ITV. I think it's smashing that it's going on free to air. I think it's a great way to, to formally launch the tournament in the UK, to be on free to air. Um, and I think it sets up, you know, the, the ITV message out there. You know, they, we, we went with ITV for a big reason that they, they have got the whole tournament. So, you know, I think that's great for the UK fans. That it's all there to see on ITV. We'll, we'll see what happens, Bob. See, uh, I'm sure I'll catch up with you at the weigh-in, uh, or if not, fight night. But until then, Kelly, thank you for watching TV, and I'll catch up with you soon. Nice, man. Thank you.